Hello YouTube, this is Brian916 back at it again making another video. As always, it's a pleasure to make videos for you. So thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing to my videos. It is very much appreciated. In this particular video, I wanted to show you guys uh, what's inside this Cobalt tool set. So if anyone's thinking about heading into Lowe's and purchasing uh, their 227-piece uh, standard and metric uh, tool set, uh, you can watch this video, see what's in here, and make an informed decision on if, if this is the route you want to go with. So um, before we open up the tools, I just wanted to make a, a quick point that these latches on here are very flimsy and come off very easy with very little effort. So uh, you get box over time if you're not careful. It could potentially end up like this with no latches on here to keep it shut and it'd be hard to travel with this. So be mindful of these little plastic clips or maybe try to you know manufacture something of your own to uh, you know make this stay together a little sturdier than these plastic clips. Okay so let's get into this uh, tool particular tool set I also got some screwdrivers over there I want to show you those screwdrivers are pretty good and this tool is going to a buddy of mine this set uh, anybody who watched my videos know a friend of mine lost his tool so I got him this little starter set and some combination wrenches and I donated 20 bucks to his GoFundMe uh, try to help him get help him get out of a jam uh, he's definitely the type of person that uh, deserves it so Anyway, so if you open it up, this is what you get. Let me get this camera adjusted so you can see what I see. Okay, let's get you a little closer here so we can take a good look at this set. All right, so the small uh, wrench up here is eight millimeter, and this goes eight millimeter, nine millimeter, 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter, 13 millimeter, and that's all you're gonna get as far as wrenches go on the uh, metric side. On the imperial side it's going to go uh, 1 4 3 8 7 16 um, half inch and then 9 16 so you don't really get a whole lot of wrenches if you buy this set you're probably going to want to pick up uh, a combination wrench on the side. Now it is pretty sturdy as far as holding tools in there they hold them in quite well you got a 5.8 spark plug socket and a 13.16 spark plug socket with the hex uh, design on it uh, for tight space access to get a wrench on on the hex. So the, both of them have that. Uh, you do have these small sockets that um, that go. You can put uh, in those keyless chuck, uh, you know, impact guns, and um, I believe that's what it's called. Don't quote me on that. But uh, so you can get, you have these sockets here, and these go from uh, 5 millimeter, 6, 8, 10, 11, and that's all you get for metric. And then you're going to get 7 30 seconds, 1 fourth, uh, 9 30 seconds, 5 16 11 30 seconds, 3 8 and 7 16 on the imperial side. And then if there's some bits here. You got a little driver here with a, a square bit for a, um, a quarter quarter size sockets. These come in really handy. The grip is nice and stout, so I like that. Uh, it's got a little hole too here. You can hang them, you know, or maybe even stick an extension through there if you wanted to and use it as a T-handle sort of. Uh, that's probably <laughs> probably not gonna hold up well, but you know if you're using it as a sacrifice tool, that probably uh, might be handy for you. And then also, um, it has th the this type of uh, screwdriver with the interchangeable bits, and these are magnetic. So I don't know if you can hear that click, but it is magnetic, so they don't fall out. And I, the screwdriver feels really good. It's not a cheap screwdriver, so um, you'll definitely appreciate these. It's got a nice grip and a nice handle to it. So this tool I would definitely use, 
and I would definitely use these bits. Okay, and then on the top side up here, we got our ratchets. And uh, these ratchets will get the job done, but I'm let you know right now, you're probably gonna wanna find a better ratchet pretty soon. Uh, this ra I wish I had a scale to put this on for you. This ratchet is probably one of the heaviest ratchets I've held to be this small on this half inch drive. Uh, I don't like the ratchet, it's pretty bulky. Um, it, it definitely wouldn't get in a tight space, tight spaces, but hey, basic brake jobs and suspension work and you know, valve cover gaskets and water pumps here and there, radiators, basic services, this stuff will, should be able to get that done. Um, definitely no European work with this tool set, uh, no, you know, uh, tight confinement or internal engine work or, you know, transmission rebuilding or anything like that with this type of stuff. I would just keep it as basic as possible. Uh, I guess it does have 90T. That's a plus. Same thing with the 3 eighths. It's fat and short. So it's really small. So compared to another ratchet. There's a gear wrench roto head compared to this. So it's pretty little for a 3H drive. We expect it to be a little bit longer. So keep that in mind. Uh, of course, same thing on a quarter. Short, heavy, bulky. Got, got a few uh, extensions on a 3 8 Got a six inch bar, three inch bar. Quarter, you only get one extension on a quarter and that's gonna be a three inch. And then same thing on a half, you get a three inch. All right, and then so it came with some midget wrenches as well, metric and imperial. Same thing with some Allen keys, metric and imperial. And if you, it has a little slot here to maybe put uh, parts if you wanted to while working, if you found another place for to put these. So that's the top drawer. Second drawer is going to be uh, what's on this drawer? Okay, so half inch on this drawer and mixed up with some three eighths and quarter drive stuff. So. It looks like, let me get the camera on this so you can see, apologize for that. Let's get you set up right. So here we got, uh, on this bottom row, it's going to be half inch, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 21, and 22. And then it follows suits on the imperial sizes. And then, um, and then when you go up, it's got quarter, and it's going to go 4, 5, 5.5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it's a pretty standard quarter size. And then on the uh, Imperial or the SAE size, um, it has 7.30 seconds all the way up to uh, half inch. And that's going to be in... 12 point on one side and just above it is going to be a six point. So you got a six point and a 12 point. You can see they're both the same three eighths. So you got one row of 12 point, one row of six point. So that comes in a set. And then you also got some deeps here at the top, all quarter inch from 13 sixteenths to half inch and then from five millimeter up to 14 millimeter and that's on a deep next drawer here we got um, this is you're going to be your deeps for your uh, 3 8 drive and this goes 10 millimeter 12 millimeter 13 14 15 16 17 18 so there's quite a few skips on a deep so keep that in mind and then um, we got some 12 points here from 8, eight we got 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 12 points. And then on the 6 points, we got from 
eight millimeter to that's actually nine nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So you do have a 19 um, millimeter, but it's gonna be on the shallow socket. And unfortunately, it's a 12 point. So, and then it's the same exact thing on the uh, SAE. So that's pretty much everything in this set. The bottom drawer doesn't have anything in this drawer. However, I bought my buddy a little set of pliers. Look, so it just came with an assortment of pliers. A little adjustable. So this drawer would be empty if you buy this set. So you could possibly put this stuff down in here and then leave this open tray for bolts and stuff while you're working. Or you could vice versa, go ahead and leave this stuff up here and then you could leave this tray uh, semi-open while working and uh, put, you know, bolts and, and small parts and stuff here. So that's what's in this set. Give you a detailed uh, tour of this set so that you can make an informed decision if you plan on buying this set. And then... Uh, also wanted to mention how great these cobalt screwdrivers are. I, I like these screwdrivers, I really do. Um, they're pretty stout. It's got a hex on it. Uh, it's a pretty big hex, but this is a larger size socket. That's a 13 millimeter on that. So, it's a pretty big hex, so you'll definitely be able to uh, bust some bolts free bust some screws free rather with this and this tip is magnetic so see if I can demo that for you down here I got a little uh, easy out and uh, let's see if it'll hold this easy out let's put it here so as you can see it'll hold this easy out bit so it's a pretty good tool on the screwdrivers. Uh, hopefully this is enough information on the set to help you make a decision on whether or not this is the set for you. So uh, thank you for viewing my videos. Please hit thumbs up. Uh, you know, please uh, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks for all the positive feedback and all the positive comments. Uh, I look forward to making another video. Thank you.